going to be doing a catch and cook bluefish fish taco. You're watching Garden State Fishing. Hey yo! Okay, so the other day we went fishing uh, out off of here and we caught a good amount of bluefish. And so today we're going to be doing a catch and cook bluefish fish taco. First, you want to get a big bowl and just pour all your fillets into the bowl. Like that. So, then you want to get your salt. You want to do a few cranks of salt on there. Don't put too much, then the whole thing's ruined. Alright, that's good. Then you want to get your pepper. Do what a type of pepper are you that. using? It's black pepper. I caramba. You can do as much as you want. Like, if you love pepper, do pepper, but we're, we're telling you right now, it could get ruined. Okay. Alright, then you're going to want just a little bit of garlic pepper. You don't want to, oh, I shouldn't screw it. Just a little bit. That's go. good. Like that amount is good. And like two pinches. And you just want to put a little bit on there. Then, you're going to want to take some of your uh, oil. peanut oil. It's You can use any oil, really. Olive oil. Vegetable Olive oil, oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. Yeah. And you just want to put... Okay, so you just put a little bit so that it hits almost every filet, right? And what you're going to want to do is just, just take mix it, it all up. Mix it. All with your hands. Or if you want to use gloves, we don't care. Just use gloves. Make sure to wash your hands after yeah, doing your this. Yeah, hands will smell really bad. Alright, so while I'm mixing these up, Steven's going to go over there and put the aluminum foil around the pan so that it's not a hard clean up. And then, once your aluminum foil is ready, you're going to want to place all the fillets in skin side down. And when it cooks, the skin And will then you're just going to continue doing that. So when there'll be a time lapse right now of me putting these on. Here we go. chuck them in the, in the oven for about 10 minutes and then they'll be done and then we'll teach you how to make the tacos so to the oven okay so we're gonna put these uh fillets in uh, uh here we go Oh good, they stuck to the DiGiorno cheese. <laughs> oh, it smells like heaven. Yep. So, let these cool off for about five minutes. Okay, so the fish are ready, and what we're doing is uh, taking a fork, taking all the meat out, and putting it into a bowl, and then we're gonna make some fish tacos. Yeah. Show you what, we'll time lapse this. Starting now. Meet me in the middle. You know I need you close. Over oh, it's always the little things I seem to miss the most. Oh, is that you I walk in? Or do I see a ghost? Am I dreaming? Am I wishing? Just a little bit of both 
you put in is how much you catch basically. okay uh and then you want to get the cheese if you want to use cheese we're using cheddar sprinkle some on top good and then you can put other stuff on top we're using tomatoes so then i'm gonna put some tomatoes on All right, and it's that simple. It's a fish, fish taco. Then all you have to up. do is fold it up. Like you just fold it in half. Do whatever you want. You, you don't know how to fold it. stuff. I do. I do. I do. Here, this is what you do. So it's like a burrito. Yeah, so you, you fold it. it up. Go here. Come here, and you can fold this one back like this. There. Yeah, that's not how you do it. It's got a square burrito. <laughs> so well, no. You learned two things today. Square how to burrito. Up, how to make a square burrito and how to make a fish. Oh, oh yeah, you can just roll it up. Like this and you know, cut, cut off the, the sides side. if you want. Hold the back side, yeah. And then you go just like, like that. that. It's not that best, the best job. And you can just take and a bite yeah. out of the top. Look, for an example, take a bite out of the top. Actually, the bite the meat, not just the tortillas. <laughs> the meat. Oh, okay. 